Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we are going to create a graphic using CSS. Ooh, this is exciting. Uh, by manipulating different selectors and properties, you can make interesting shapes. One of the easier ones is to try a crescent moon shape. For this challenge, you need to work on box shadow property that sets the shadow of an element along with the border radius property that controls the roughness of the element's corners. You will create a round, transparent object with crisp shadow that is slightly offset to the side. The shadow is actually going to be the moon shape you see. In order to create a round object, the border radius property should be set to a value of 50%. You may recall that an earlier challenge uh, that the box shadow property takes values uh, for offset x, offset y, blur radius, spread radius, and a color value in that order. So that's important to remember that they're in that order. So you need to set each one uh, in the proper cadence. <clears throat> the blur radius and spread radius values are optional. That means that you don't actually have to put these in there, but you do need your offset x and your offset y. Uh, manipulate the square element in the editor to create a moon shape. First, change the background color to transparent and set the border radius property to 50% to make the circular shape. Finally, change the box shadow property to set the offset X to 25 pixels, the offset Y to 10 pixels, blur radius to zero, and spread radius to zero, uh, and the color, and, and color to blue. So it basically just gives us very specific instructions here. Uh, we want to change the background color to transparent. So we'll just set this to, interesting, background color to transparent. Okay, that seems to be correct. Uh, then set the border radius property to 50% to make the circular shape. Okay, so if we do this one to 50%, this thing's going to become round. Oh, there we go. Um, and then we want to uh, change the box shadow. So this guy here, uh, to have the offset X of 25 pixels, the offset Y to 10 pixels, the blur radius to zero. So we want to change that to zero. <laughs> that gets away the blur now. It looks very crescent moony. And then the uh, color to blue. Um, yeah, I don't have too much to add to this. I think that this is... Uh, what they were looking for. Looks like we missed some element of it. Hmm. Box shadow property should be set to 25 pixels. Awesome. And then we have it up here. We have offset X, offset Y. <laughs> 10, 25, 25 for 10 for Y. Zero for blur radius. We have that. Zero for spread radius. Interesting. So it looks like they want zero as well here. Hmm. I like that previous one more. Let's run the test. And that's it. Hope this one was helpful. Um, we'll see you guys in the next lesson.